<sighs> Hello and welcome back to another certified ultra safety video. It is currently 10 a.m. in the morning and it's not really bright out. So that can only mean one thing, which is that we made it once again to the Arctic Circle. And as you already saw in the last video, we prepared my E90 for that. And we also prepared my RS4. So come here real quick, I'm gonna give you a closer look. Because this is actually really cool. Marty surprised me with two really nice lights on the grill, which is wait. So they glow orange in normal daytime, which looks kind of like a raptor, which I kind of like. And actually, those have been sent to me by one of you guys. So one of my, I think it's Finnish viewers, he sent those lights to me for free. So thank you very much. It's very cool. Uh, we also have spikes on my M3 right now, which is very much needed up here. Apart from that, I hope my car holds up. I haven't really driven it ever since the rebuild. So it has been just sitting around for 11 months, no driving. And now the first time driving in the snow as well. So it's going to be quite an interesting week, I guess. If you come with me really quick. This is the Mani Mobile. So this is this Mani and the other Look Mani's. at it. Yeah, the uh, Sportsmobile, Alter. <laughs> Rescue Center. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mounted the lights of my R34 on here. And they kind of fit perfectly. So I think it's a match made in heaven. We only had to drill a shitload of holes in the hood. But they hold up pretty good. We also made the front lights yellow because it just looks fucking amazing. You guys gave me a lot of shit for not having good tires. Now we have finally good tires and you can stop hating me. And we got a new suspension in it. Oh, and also, yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> we have the KW V V1 suspension. Yeah. yeah, like I said, this is Mani Mobile. You already saw Mani driving in the fucking RS4 B7 like he sold it last year. So I hope he's gonna treat my car a bit better this year. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we have a very interesting selection of cars. It's only three cars with us right now because the other two cars are still at the workshop. Because one of them, or actually, okay, what, let's, what, what's the let's let's car? let's start let's start this from the beginning. We have Jake with us. <laughs> You guys might know Jake from my London trip because he was our tour guide for the UK yeah. and now we're kind of showing him around Finland for that. Um, Jake brought a really, really nice and clean E92. We actually bought it only for this trip, which is kind of a Jake thing to do, I guess. Uh, it's also supercharged and which I'm kind of jealous about. He has kind of a steering angle kit in the yeah. front. It's like knuckle adapters, but it gives him more steering angle, which I think we're going to see some amazing slides then. <laughs> Should be fun. also pretty cool laser lights on the top. Those are really fucking bright. These are probably the brightest lights you can buy. Laser lights and we have two more e92 m3s but they're right now at the workshop because jake and his british friends came here with fucking summer tires <laughs> we had summer tires one car has no diff the other one hasn't just got summer tires it had completely worn out ns2r semi slicks which have no tread at all but yeah we're almost ready and then we're ready for some sports yeah <laughs> so we're mounting the spike tires on the other car now then we have to drive back to the shop see how far they are coming with putting the differential in the car but yeah after that we're ready to test out my 90 see how this goes and in the snow see how this handles with the spikes yeah it's gonna be quite interesting so let's get going let's go look at the others see if we can maybe help them with the differential or just look at them fixing it because that's what we normally do <laughs> you do do it i i do it we think you stand <laughs> well let's go to the others yeah we made it to the workshop by the way this is the truck that got out of all of our cars up here shout out to the truck driver because i don't think out of all the three times we've been up here no truck driver ever has been up here as fast as you so thank you very much you did a very great job uh all the cars are here safely if you remember last year uh sadly the truck driver drove ule's evo and he crashed it so that's why ule was not driving with us last year ule still didn't get any of his money back so yeah we're just still waiting for that so this truck driver good truck driver and so this is our main issue right now <laughs> because this car still has no difference lane but i have to say this is probably so awesome. this is probably the coolest setup m3 up here <laughs> the lights light setup is amazing i love this one also he has a complete wise fab kit in the front which gives him a shitload of steering angle. Also, he's a, he's a rally driver, right? Rally cross driver. Rally cross yeah, driver. driver. So at least we're in a good company today. <laughs> hey, man. What? <laughs> That's a fucking nice mullet, man. Smooth, isn't it? <laughs> Are you enjoying your time in Finland so far? I am actually enjoying my time in Finland. <laughs> So now also the last M3 has arrived. As you can see, we are pretty heavy on BMWs this trip. But this is completely stock, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's got um, carbon intake and that's it. Yeah, we're still waiting for the differential to go in the car and for the spike tires to come on. Just gonna try to find a way to make the time go by faster, I guess. <laughs> You have to hold on for your dear life. I'm going to get showered this time. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah it's slowly getting dark now. Liam still hasn't really found any proper tires for his car, but he should get some tonight. So yeah, we didn't really do much driving, but we kind of have a pretty good idea right now. Uh, yeah, gonna see how that works. Also, Manny lost the uh, light of my RS4 for a second, but it's back yeah. on the car, so <laughs> all good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So I hope he's gonna treat my car a bit better this year. <laughs> How did it feel though? Fucking freezing. <laughs> Fucking freezing? <laughs> it really fun. Like, if I wish I had goggles because I could see, but the bit coming back where I'm like really far out to the side was really fun. Well, I guess it's time to go eat something and then we're gonna enjoy ourselves in the city. Yeah, wonderful good morning. Uh, new day, new luck. We are very well rested. We didn't really do much yesterday because yeah, we had some issues getting the cars ready. Uh, now all the cars are kind of done. Only Liam is having some issues with the clutch because he did like a reverse entry in fifth gear back in autumn. And he only recently found out that his clutch is still fucked from that. So he's getting a new clutch, but he should be with us in the afternoon again. Um, so far, it's only me and Jake outside. We're waiting for Luigi, or for Louis. Uh, so he's the guy with the other Silverstone M3. And both Manis are driving to Sweden right now. So they will also be with us in the afternoon because they are getting some snooze because they are very addicted to that i guess <laughs> i don't know yeah it's a beautiful day as you can see really nice weather both cars are ready the only thing is it's really really cold today compared to yesterday <laughs> okay <laughs> uh it's like minus 60 degrees celsius so yeah you do notice the cold it's a different kind of cold than back in austria but still it is very very cold and the next thing is it may not look like it but right now it's 10 30 a.m because here in finland uh, especially in the winter time the sun never really goes up we're going to have some sunlight later in the afternoon so that will be cool for some shots but apart from that the sun won't really go up so yeah it will pretty much look like this the rest of the day which is kind of a nice vibe but yeah it's really crazy here louis also arrived i really really love the yellow lights it looks amazing so i guess we go okay louis is gonna drive behind me i guess ah i do really love this city this really is a beautiful place this is like winter wonderland basically right here this is where santa goes to pack his presents Resort here, Levy. That is this is basically the reason why Levy is so famous mm. because they have those really nice slopes here. I think we're gonna go skiing back there sooner or later during our trip because it is a really cool place to go skiing. There's a huge sign which literally says no cars and motorcycles allowed. <laughs> Well, whatever. Oh, you can see the sun is starting to come, but it will take another few hours, I guess, until it's mm. really up there. It's so crazy here. In uh, November and December, they get no sunlight at all, Niels told us. So literally nothing. And on the contrary side, in summer, they get like sun for 24 hours, which is... Yeah. I hit the floor so hard. <laughs> oh. 
Do you lose your bumper? Yeah, I'll be alright. I just need to push it up and back. Little kids with grown man toys. But this car, now it's working. I'm so happy to have it back. It works so well. Honestly, I have to say I kind of got lost and I may or may not have lost the others because we were doing some outside shots. Uh, I found a pretty cool place here. With all the sun and stuff, it looks amazing here. Proper rally wipes. Tight road, not much space for mistakes. So let's try to find the others and then we'll see what's gonna happen next. Wow, oh, now it's getting beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful here. Yeah, the road's amazing. This is proper rainy wipes here. Yep. Do you know how cold it is here? Minus 28.5 <laughs> degrees Celsius. <laughs> I tell you what, you can feel it out here. It is so cold. <laughs> different planet because there's no trees around here or basically no trees around here so it just looks like a, some extraterrestrial different universe yeah sadly the sun does not reach over the mountain because it's so low it's 12 in the morning so normally the sun would be somewhere up here in a normal country but us being Marnie that's that's not as far in the bank as you're used to <laughs> <laughs> But that's good, the Audi is staying as far away from the BMWs as possible. Yeah, don't, don't corrupt the BMWs. <laughs> Are you like the RS4 so far? Yeah. 
It's, yeah, it feels like home here. Feels like last year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only to get rid of your catalytic converters. We can do it also if you like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's grab some lunch and then we go really far into the back country so we can have some proper sense with nobody disturbing us or us disturbing them, I guess. So, yeah, we're the Transarctica expedition, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Perfect jacket. I love how those trees look with all the snow yeah, just, just covered. You know, there's like a video on Instagram of the people snowboarding yeah, through, through the these, powder, man, yeah. these trees. Yeah. Another cool fun fact about Finland, Sweden, Norway. People up here, if it gets like really snowy, they don't drive their cars anymore. They all drive snowmobiles. So they have designated snowmobile highways and snowmobile police raiding snowmobile drivers. Yeah, they yeah, you get speeding tickets. Yeah, yeah, can get a speeding ticket. Go get some speeding tickets and with the snowmobiles. Yeah, <laughs> this is where we're gonna eat. I think it snowed a bit the last few days. You like it more than London. I mean, I'll be honest, I hate London. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I like England, but I don't like London. <laughs> How much do you want, Louis? <laughs> do it. How much do you want to run yeah. and jump? Do it. Jump 50 lunch. euros. I don't think it's that much. 50 euros? Much. That's, that's lunch. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Really solid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that was that's a lot harder than I Oh, I've actually got snow in my ass. You oh, just God. hit the fucking tree. Dude, look how thick the branches. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we're done with our little lunch break. The sun is still up, so that means we're gonna go pick up money now. The other money, because he was having a small break. I don't know. He was too cold. Whatever. <sighs> And then we are going to go really back, or really far north, into like where nobody lives, and hopefully send it with Jake together. Um, Liam's car is running again, so that's great, he's gonna join us too. But I think we're gonna split up the grooves a little bit, so it's not too many cars. Yeah, as you can see, we made it to a pretty secluded part here, uh, to the same roads we were all on with the Super last year. So it's just me, Jake and Mani, we're gonna go drive down these roads. The other two already went down a bit further. They're looking that nobody's coming, they're kind of closing down the roads, so to say, so we can just have fun. But I have to say, there's nobody living out here anyway. I would say, let's go, let's see what we can do. <laughs>
car works so well in the snow. But with the spikes, it's just insane. Also, the tires are just scraping in every possible corner of my car. Wahnsinn, man. Ohne Scheiß. This is good. This is good. some outside shots now I am in the outside <laughs> and I think I lost my front lip one moment you're in the road looking at the scenery next moment you're in the scenery looking at the road Guys, I have to say it's perfect today. It's perfect conditions. We got such a good weather today. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's amazing. Two supercharged M3s and the RS4 in case one of us gets stuck. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple more outside shots and then we're gonna head back to the others and see what they're up to. Oh, you're also missing a chunk here. Yeah, oh, well. I fall off. I think it was actually around here somewhere. I fall off. This yeah, my tires are scraping yeah, so yeah, much exactly. as well. So happy right now. And the car is holding up perfectly. Only the steering. So steering issues a little bit but it's you it's M normal M3. for these cars yeah I don't know what's going on today, but we just keep fucking driving off the road. But I think this takes the cake because I don't think nobody has ever made it that far into the road. <laughs> Reverse entry and then with the back in the ditch and then it turns around. So what should I do? How do you like my car so far? So we finally met the others again after they got a bit lost here in Finland and not only they get lost but also like I would say a good one-fourth of your bumper fucking went flying. <laughs> what happened? Uh, speed. 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 Lots of it. And when we went in I thought the best way out was his full throttle so we stayed full throttle and came back out the other side. <laughs> well it seemed like you got out at least. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it's getting dark pretty fast now, but we made it to Niels. Oh, at least I made it to Niels. I don't know where the rest is. But yeah, we should be all together very soon and then we're just gonna play around in this because look at all the room for activities. Pretty cool. So shout out to Niels again. Thank you for helping us out and having such a good time up here.
<laughs> By the way, that is Niels. So Niels is the legend who's been helping us out over the last two days. Niels basically let us use his workshop and let us obviously use this really nice area. So Niels, you have my heart. Do one more, we, we're trying to oh. get as close as possible to you. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake>. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was perfect. That was perfect, that Insane. last one. Yeah. Literally, the car went round you. <laughs> Perfect, nice. The clutch down on the pivot and then back on it, yeah. absolutely perfect. Nice. Ah, yeah. Well, once again, Neil's garage. Uh, so we have my power steam pump is working. This one's dead now, and you also need to change your power steam um, fluid. I think it might just be really hot. Okay. So I think when it cools down, I think it might be okay. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> so this is, uh, this trip has been really taking a toll on BMW power steam pumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna change his power steam pump now, I guess. And then we're gonna drive home. We have a few more adventures ahead of us here in Finland. So stay tuned. I think that was it for the first part. So hope you enjoyed it, guys. Oh, my friends are ravers. When the bass light drops, yeah, we all go off, yeah. I know you guys probably can't see right now, but up there, see it a little bit. In real life, it's way brighter. It looks like we finally found some polar lights. Well, big there, big there, everywhere. Really? Yeah. Well, my phone is not picking it up. <laughs> Insane. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. Insane. It's pretty can insane. You see it on the video? Yeah, Jake. Oh, yeah, you can. What, Check, let me see. what let me do see. you think about the? It's incredible. <laughs> I'm glad we've all just ran out, ran out to come and see it. Was it worth it? Yeah, hundred percent. This one is cool. Bamboo trees. Yeah, it's so was... bright with the moon and everything. And that was worth shipping my car out to get a picture <laughs> with polar lights. <laughs> oh, it's just like oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, oh, damn boy! It's the Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my